Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Banks and we have another amazing virtual booth tour. Today we are with Trinity Stamps, which is actually at the conference at Creativation this year, along with a lot of the other companies we've been doing. And today we have Shanna, who has been with the company for a couple of years and was one of their lead designers and does a lot of fun stuff behind the scenes. So let's bring her in to say hi. Here we go, here she hi. is. Hello, hello. So you've been with Trinity for a couple of years. So I'm just switching around so I can get over onto my comments. Oh crap, where'd my mouse go? I does this every time. <laughs> Keep talking. I have you talk been with Trinity my for a couple of years. <laughs> um, Trinity's getting ready to turn three in June. And I think I've been officially one of their design team members for the last two years, but I've known Tanisa, the owner, I'll be like before Trinity started. That is so, so it cool. was kind of fun to connect as she started her new business. And is this the first year that Trinity has been at Creativation? Officially exhibiting, Officially. yes. Cool. I, like you guys have gone and like walked the showroom floor, but like having a booth and being a presence, this is the first year, which is awesome. That's so, so cool. I love that. I love new, new companies coming in and making their big debut splash with a booth, even though it's virtual this year, <laughs> but hopefully next year we'll be like in person and people can walk through and do stuff. It's all cool. So we have some products we want to show people, like basically what Trinity is about, if you've never heard, because it is a, a newer company. And so we are going to start with slimline stamps i love this because there's a ton of sli like slimline cards with like the big thing right now and i love that you've got stamps that fit that size so do you want to talk a little bit about these so yeah our four by 11 stamp sets were some of the first in the industry last fall to come out with the slimline size background stamp so it fits your traditional three and a half by eight and a half slimline card and fills the background in um, they Very. have been releasing since fall, so a lot of our designs have kind of followed fall forward, but we're coming out with new ones with every release pretty much. And how often do you guys do releases? They vary. <laughs> every couple months, generally. That's good. Okay, so it's not just like every six months. No, our, to our last if release back. was at the end of January, and we're getting ready to have a small release this coming Saturday. So about Very, every other cool. month right now. Okay, so but you guys don't just have stamps. We also have these layering stencils. These things are so cool looking. I love it. So how do the layering work? stencils are a lot of fun. Um, our six by nine ones were designed so you can do pretty much any size card in them. They will fit a slimline card underneath without having to like slide over and line up and adjust the pattern. Or nice. um, you can still do your basic A2 four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half inch card too. So the versatility is very much there. One of the cool features of our layering stencils is like, so if you look at our balloon stencil there in the, in the picture, there is laser etching on each stencil. So you can line up the design between stencils. So the balloon stencil comes with two different pieces. And then mm. you use one stencil, create with that, and then you layer the next stencil on top and line up the little laser etching, and you're good to go to add your second layer. So it does have two specific, like two separate stencils in there that you can put one and then the other to give you really cool textures. And like with the flowers, how you can get the so one the color flowers, with the flower and example, the one color with the leaf. you get the roses ones, and yep, and then the leaves on another stencil. So you don't have That's to cool. like, be super careful or mask anything off to get two different colors for your stencil design, the stencils are doing it for you. That's so cool. So there's another set of stencils you guys have has have as well. And these are six by six. I love the background one. That's so cool with like the sea creatures and you can get all the, that's so pretty. Yeah. The build, that's a scene builder for like an ocean scene and it, it develops like a super layered dimensional scene. That's really pretty to look at. That is cool. I'm sorry that. if and you then, can hear my youngest. He is going crazy. You know, we're all, it, that, that's kind of the, the, the craziness of this is that we're all like at home with our kids and we're in spring break, but you guys are still in school. So I, like you just were telling me you were just in a Zoom with your kids for school yeah. and ran late and <laughs> you're like juggling us in between. I mean, I, I think we're all in this crazy mess together about trying to juggle everything at one time. And so you're doing this boost tour, which thank you so much for fitting us in your schedule. And then you're trying to do the conference and then you got home and then you also work I mean you're like superwoman it's crazy but I love it all the things I like to be busy apparently or that's at least what my yeah. husband says so the way it works <laughs> so we all, so going back to these stencils there's also a starburst one 
And then it looks like uh, well, the last one, one like is fireworks. Fireworks. Okay, got it. So got they're it. layered and fireworks. And then it's leaves. Is that the one all the way on the other end? Um, coffee beans, actually. Coffee beans. Got it. So it gives the, you like a two-piece coffee bean that looks really neat. Very, very cool. We got some commentary. Let's flip over and take this off and let's see what people, I have to switch screens. So they're so awesome. They're so amazing. I love that. So people are talking about the polka dot stencils are their favorites. Yay, I love the polka dot stencils. The polka, yeah, can't go wrong with polka dots. <laughs> Cannot go wrong with polka dots. And then somebody else commented that the six by six stencils also work for five by seven cards as well. Oh, so that they is do. very, very good to know. Very, very cool. Yay. Thank you, everybody who's gotten on. I totally appreciate you coming. We've got Chris. we got TLC Designs. we got Carrie. we got Lapita. we got Addy. Um, that's all the people that I've seen comment so far. But hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. All right. So going back, we got a couple other products we want to show. So you guys also have embellishments. I'm in love with these. These are so yummy. I just feel like I just, they're just so pretty. They're so cool. <laughs> to right. about embellishments them. are a lot of fun. So Trinity carries a huge variety of different embellishments from the little flat back pearl baubles to different clay embellishments and different sequin mixes. One of the trademark features of our embellishment boxes is the actual box though. So they come in a little hinge storage box. So you don't have to transfer them to anything else or try and deal with little Ziploc bags coming undone or anything like that. So they nice. all come labeled and in their own box, which is really handy. I'm trying to decide which one's my favorite, but I think I am loving the little Easter chicks and the egg. Those ones are so cute. Those are cute. I love that. And this is just actually <laughs> like a small little snippet of what's available over on the website. And it's not just sequins. I mean, it looks like you've got, like you said, flat back pearls. There's little, and those, are they enamel? Is that what they are? The ones that are little shapes, or are they clay? Um, they're clay. So they're there's clay. different, you know, the, the flat back pearls are more of your acrylic, um, style then you have the clay embellishments which are super flat you'll see i'll have some on screen a little later super flat and fun to play with you can use them alone or in shakers so they can help build a scene or they can be just a shaker element and then there's always the sequins and some of those type things too that um are super popular as well and then, okay, very, very cool. I love it. And then there is one other thing, which I love. You guys have got thought ahead on this. You got some tools and some accessories to go with your blending brushes, which you need the blending brushes to tie in with the stencils that you guys have, especially with all the background levels. So you've got them color coded. That's so smart. So yeah, I believe they were introduced last year. So the Blending Buddy color caps the, and the bartender and then the magnetic base are all sold separately to our Blending Buddies as an accessory to help, yeah, identify the colors. So um, for those of us who like to have a separate brush for each color family, there's a cap that can just attach to the bottom of your blending brush because one of the fun features of our Blending Buddies is the fact that they stand up. So even if I didn't have it on the magnetic base, the buddies actually will stand up on a s flat surface. So they're actually magnetic themselves, the little blending buddies. So you can put them on a magnetic Without make them more sturdy. Without the color caps, they are not magnetic, but- But with the caps, they are. With the caps, they are. Very cool. So it just makes them a little bit more sturdy if you're gonna put them on a magnet so they don't fall over and you constantly have them like tip, tip, tip. I like that. Yes. Because <laughs> then I end up getting like ink all over my desk. Caps. <laughs> So the other thing our brushes come with is the cap to go over the bristles, which makes it nice if oh, you're like that. me and you toss them all in a container. Sometimes, depending on the ink you put on them, they'll bleed into each other. Yeah, that's no fun. Or <laughs> if it tips over and lands on a project, it's covered. You're yeah, not, that's no fun either when that happens. Nope. I've had both <laughs> more times than I'd like to admit. So yep, by experience, those caps are handy. <laughs> Very much so. I love that. Oh no! Oh, there she is. Okay, so it's started toggling. It's okay. So we just got a few more comments. Let's take a look. So yeah, the blend, people are commenting. The blending buddy is like so awesome. Um, we've made all the accessories made by a small business in Oregon. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Yeah. So I love that. So it's like local, made made like yeah, super they, local. Yeah, they were sourced through another crafty company. Um, so it was a fun collaboration. 
Yay, that's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna let you switch your camera real fast and we're okay. gonna talk a little bit about the giveaway. There is an awesome giveaway. So I'm gonna stick this little banner up here. Here we go. So we have a giveaway going on. So here, if you would like to leave a comment and I'll ask you to comment here in one second, but we have two different giveaways happening right this minute. So one of them is you can win live. You gotta stay tuned to the end to see if you are the winner and you are gonna win the brand new little stamps that we haven't even like it, it, this is the first time it's been like announced to anybody so that is so cool so make sure you leave a comment I'll tell you what the question is in a minute and also if you are watching after this goes live or if you did not win during the live keep leaving answering the question I'm going to ask you in a minute and you have a chance to win a $20 gift certificate to Trinity Stamps. So that is super amazing so what is the question as I take this off here we go Ready? Are you guys ready? There's a question. Here we go. So I just build up. Got to, got to add some like, ooh, as she's switching her camera around. Got to stretch. <laughs> so let me put the question up here. I got to find, oh, my mouse just keeps disappearing. Money. So the question is, what is your favorite card size? So what card size do you like to make that is your favorite? So there's so many different card sizes out there right now. There's the slim lines, which are really hot and trendy, but then there's the A2 size, which again has been a favorite, but then there's also the larger five by sevens, there's square cards. What is your go-to card size that you are enjoying to making right now? There's so many different ones. We would love to hear your comments on this. By leaving a comment about this question, then you will have a chance to win the brand new release stamp set live. We'll pick a winner here live, so make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can see if you are the lucky winner by leaving your comment. And if you did not win live, you will have a chance to win after the show is over by still answering the exact same question, and we are live on my YouTube channel, we're live on my Facebook channel, so Erin Reed makes for both that, but we're also live on Trinity's Facebook today. So we're live in a whole bunch of places. Leave a comment on any of those three sites. We'll pick the lit winner today, and then we'll also pick a winner, and I will announce it on Friday night, because Friday night I am having a live after party chat with 10 amazing people. I'm one of the 10 because, you know, I have to host it, with some amazing people that have attended Creativation, including the owner of Trinity Stamps will be joining us that night. And among some other people, like Seth Apter and A.V. Perkins, who is our A.V., and we've got Eileen Hall, and we've got Ann Butler, and so many amazing people. I am, I'm trying to, I think she's ready, so I don't want to waste too much more time while we bring her back in. Here we go. Ta-da! Hello. Uh, the link in okay. the description says it's not active. Let me fix that as soon as the live is over and I will get that link fixed and we will set. Sorry. Sorry about that. I, I was trying to figure out. Maybe I can do that while she's talking and doing her thing. So don't pay attention to me like doing this. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so take it away. We've got a fun make and take. As if we were at the booth at Creativation, we would have make and takes or we would have demos going along with the products that are being released. So that is what Shanna's going to do for us today is she's going to give us a fun demo. Yay! Fun. Before I start the make and take, I'm actually going to show some of the new releases really quick. Yes. Um, so this Saturday on the 20th, um, a little mini spring release hits the shop and the design team has been super busy creating some amazing projects and they're a lot of fun. So I was just going to do a quick run through and give you guys like first look, first glance at this Saturday's. I keep wanting to say Friday, but this Saturday's release. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times I've said it and wrote it. Uh, Friday is coming oh, out of my the, mouth. The, the days just blend together after a while. So, you know, it's all good. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Nobody believe me if I say Friday. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> One of the four by four stamp sets coming out is Spring in My Step. Cute little gnomes are back. Everyone loves our gnomes. They've been super popular over the last couple releases. Um, and then here's just a quick little sample card. This uses one of our scene builder for our slimline dies, but I cut it down to an A2. Um, the tree comes in that and the grass comes in that. And then our slider set. And he's got a cute little chick that wants to follow him along. And so, I have an close picture of that set right here. Perfect. There so we that go. is spring in our step or spring in my step. Right, let me pull that off. Okay, what else we got? Next, we're going to talk about really quick. This is all cracked up. Another little gnome sitting in a cute little egg. Hey, chick. I love the sentiment on this. I'm going to be using it guaranteed on other cards because <laughs> it's hey, chick. It's all. 
It's a check. There so you go. this uses a stencil for the background. It's part of our A2 Foundations stencils. I We didn't touch on those earlier, but they are stencils designed to line up on an A2 card and perfectly center different shapes. So fun on that one. So I'm just getting a technical difficulty real fast. Okay. For some reason, my YouTube wants to not want to connect anymore. Fun. Not sure. Okay, but we're still live on Facebook, so that's good. We're still there. We're still there. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep it's going. Okay. Technical so, difficulties. Um, it's all good. The stamp set that we're offering in the giveaway is our 4 by 11 Slimline stamp set, um, which is Slimline Chicks. <laughs> And it comes with the stamp set, and then you get two additional little images and a bunch of little sentiments that are super cute. Um, this is just a quick shaker with some of our embellishments. All I did was heat emboss. This is like color free, my type of card some days. Some days I just, I love coloring, but some days I wanna do something that doesn't require a lot of coloring. So just embossing the background was a lot of fun on this. And it That's opens cool. up. And so we've so. got a couple examples of some of those new uh, Slimline card versions are right there. Yep. So cool. And then next up is Slimline Bunnies, which is what I'm actually going to do make and take with today. So Slimline Bunnies is another 4 by 11 stamp set that has a ton of cute bunnies in the background. Those are adorable. All doing different things. You have, you know, the cool dude here with his glasses. You have one with the Z's. He's sleeping. He's bored. There's a crown. This one looks like he's up to no good. My 11-year-old loves to point out that we have a dabbing bunny. So, <laughs> right? Is it this way? Like, I don't know. Like, What's it? <laughs> you know, I showed him this stamp set and literally it didn't even take five seconds. And mom, there's a dab. Okay. <laughs> They find the funniest things. Like there's always uh, the little pieces that they find. They're like, mom, right. it's doing like it's keeping its nose. I'm like, yep, there you go. <laughs> so for this one, I didn't put the background stamp on the front. I actually created a window. And then, so the background stamp is actually the focal of the inside of the card. And then you can write your message up here. Fun stuff. Cool. I love that. So it's a that little peekaboo thing. Right, this Saturday's release. Very cool. So for the make and take because I was too nervous to just run it live and not create it ahead of time. <laughs> We're going to do another quick shaker. So this one uses the bunnies again and our modern embossed die set, which also comes with the die set that'll create the windows. Um, and it does this nice little embossed edge. And then this is our lift the flap die. So it's a set of four dies that includes a slimline sized flap, which is a lot of fun to do this style card. So this is the actual, like if you were to open a card, the flap is where you'd write your your special message and sign your card. Um, you could also hide money under it. It's the perfect size for giving Ooh, money. Um, nice. Or a gift card with a, like a little scene and a message next to it. All sorts of fun things happen with the flaps. Very cool. So I just want to give you a heads up. There was some technical difficulties earlier for some reason. It, we were live on Trinity the whole time, but for some reason, my Facebook and my YouTube dropped. I don't know why, but it <laughs> looks like everything's back online again. So, so sorry Hi if again. you had some momentary gaps in there, but we're back on. So it picked back up. I don't, I don't know what happened, but thank you guys Weird. for being in there and sticking with it. It is so, I've never had that happen, but it was like, it wasn't like everybody dropped. It was just mine. <laughs> Isn't technology Trinity fun? Strong. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> and a whole so, bunch of people have gotten on. I want to say super thank you. And people are commenting and saying that these things are so fun and so cute. And everybody's loving all the new releases. So I'm just kind of taking a look at a lot of these yay. fun stamps. And yeah, they're so awesome. Okay, so you have a make and take. Sorry, I totally jumped ahead I of the do. fact that it's you're okay. going to show all the new releases. Well, we I figured I, I talked the new releases since I was doing a make and take with the new release. <laughs> See, there we go. See, so you, you slid right I, in even though I missed it. <laughs> that's okay. I tried to like prep it ahead of time. So we're pretty much assembling it. So I stamped just regular stamp. This is just a gray ink on white cardstock for my slimline. I pre-cut to three and a half by eight and a half. So I'm already at slimline size for my base. Then I have... And it's sticking to things because I already added foam tape. Oh, gosh. 
So, Crystal, part of what you're probably hearing is because we're all mic'd up and she's got a head mic. It's us breathing, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's, a, it's, it's just part of what it is. It's either that or I'm using a different mic and it sounds like I'm in a giant echo chamber. So I need to get right. better about not breathing into my mic or hitting my mic and... You know, she, she's got a headgear with a microphone here. So it's just, it's what we Yeah, are. I We're stole so it from my son. It's a gaming <laughs> headset, apparently. Um, so this is, let me see if I bring the mic down, if I don't breathe right into it. This is the modern slimline dies. So this comes with a set, I believe, of four more, three more, four more rectangles that would die cut the panels, but I'm just using the window. So I taped it in place and then it die cuts out the three symmetric windows. So I have the windows for my shaker. I can save those pieces and use them on something else, which I generally do. Um, the background here is our slimline stripe stencil. And what I did is I stenciled ink going one way. Then I flipped my stencil. And it's a well-loved stencil, if you can't tell. I use it a lot. And flipped the it the other kind. way. So you get like the gingham type look with it. Oh, cool. It's like the crosshatch. Yep. Very, so, very cool. So that is going to create our window. I already added the foam tape because I fight with foam tape and fighting with foam tape live is always entertaining. So I'm like, hmm, I'm going to do that ahead of time. <laughs> yep. It works. Then I, the top piece is the lift the flap. So this is the lift the flap die. And then you can see it die cuts the three edges. And then if we can catch it on camera, there's actually a scored line there that'll allow us to work it into the fold. It pre-scores it for us as well. Very cool. So that so it just gives you that little top. extra score. You don't have to worry about trying to fold it yourself. Yeah. Um, this handy. paper is actually Trinity's paper too. They have a, paper, a couple different paper collections. This is the All Hearts collection. And I have it here. It comes, I believe there's four sheets of every color in this set. And it's so fun. And they're double-sided. So you have a big heart pattern on one and a little heart pattern on the other. And what size is that? This is slimline size. That's so cool. they are four by nine. Because whenever I'm cutting like a full eight and a half by 11, like you only can get two cuts out of yeah. a slimline. There's all this extra and you can't get a slimline card out of a six by six. So I absolutely love that. You guys have thought ahead on, well, I'm going to make it ahead for you and make it preset. And so yeah, it's go. super handy. And Smart. that size fits our envelope. So Trinity Stamps has a slimline envelope die. Um, it fits the base of that perfect. So you wouldn't even have to die cut it. How many papers come in that paper pack? You would ask me that. I would ask I don't, you that. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Totally on the spot. But someone in the <laughs> audience, I have a couple teammates who are watching us. Hopefully one of them will pop up with the info. Oh, if somebody can answer that, I'll put it up on the screen if you guys have the answer to that question about how many papers come in that slimline paper pack. That would be great. And I can put that answer up on the screen for everybody to see. All right. So I'm going to start assembling. Um, real quick. Ink on three is the color I'm using and I'm doing a quick shout out to this because super sweet company, they okay. named their teal ink after Trinity. So it is called Trinity teal. So my <laughs> project features Trinity teal in most of the stamping and that background I did with the stencil is also Trinity teal. Lots of fun. Our website does have these um, and it's a super cute company as well. Lorette, super sweet. All right, Very back cool. to so my we heard tape. the answer is 24 sheets, and not only that, they're double sided. I'm sorry, for some reason, it doesn't want to show up as it just says shows Facebook user, so I'm not sure who said that, but thank you so much for the information. Truly, truly appreciate thank that. Thank you. Cool. I was like, I know. I know someone's going to be able to answer. <laughs> <laughs> this is that what I want about lives. Not me. <laughs> there's the defaults, like I drop feeds, but then there's the bonuses. You guys answer questions for me. <laughs> Great, there we go. So I'm going to start okay. by putting in my embellishments. For this one, I'm going to use the Easter egg excitement embellishment. So these are our embellishment boxes. Um, they Those are, are cool. hinged, so it has a lid. And then after it's empty, it's completely reusable for what you want. That's cool. I can so just imagine just, all the fun things I would put in there. <laughs> Reminds oh, me of a Tic Tac box. <laughs> a little bit. I like these a little better than the Tic Tac boxes I've used before, though, because those, I they, like the lids pop off on me. These don't. Yeah. 
Totally true. So just in case you've gotten in just recently, there is a giveaway that we are doing, um, or that Trinity is giving away, and it is for the stamp set she is currently using. It's the one with the bunnies, right? Nope, it's the one with the chicks. It's the, the one other the one. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> It's the one with the chicks. Leave a comment about what is your favorite card size to use while you are creating. What is, like, do you like A2? Do you like slimline? Five by seven? Squares? What size squares? There's so many fun sizes out there. Do you prefer, like, weird shapes? I mean, what is your go-to? What is your favorite thing to create? Oh, shape cards. And yeah, that's another option. That was a cool one. Yeah. And also there's going to be a winner after this has gone live. So after the recording is over, if you still leave the same answer to the question, there's a chance to win a $20 gift certificate, which I will announce the winner to that when I'm live on my Creativation After Party on Friday night at 7 o'clock. Central. <laughs> I'll be at work. Start I really work. invited you to come and she's like, I have to work. But you are doing a very, very important job. So <laughs> I appreciate all the work that you do. Well, thank you. All right. FYI, she's a nurse. <laughs> so we have little eggs shaking around. Oh, adorable. So that creates the whole base layer of the card. So that would be like the back of the card and the inside. Now we're going to go ahead and glue our lift the flap. But first, I like to work this fold at least once. I'll work it more after I glue it, but I like to do just one fold on it beforehand. See, double-sided, which automatically decorated the inside of my card too, which was kind of nice. Very cool. And did my son take my glue? <laughs> I can't like to walk it. off with my scissors. Uh, my youngest my is autistic, like, uh -uh. and he finds interest in the darndest of things. Every once in a while, it's my bottle of glue. He doesn't open it. He doesn't do anything else with it, but he's going to play with it. He just likes to hold it. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, and it's like a grungy, it's 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 not even pretty. It's well loved at this point. Well, maybe that's why he likes it. Probably. He sees mom hold it enough. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, she likes it, therefore I have to like it. And it probably has a smell and it feels good or, you know, there's all these real reasons why kids latch on to things. You know, there's, yeah, yeah. So, so you just want to put it. Doing this okay, go ahead. Go ahead sorry. It's okay. You want to put glue only where that border is so you don't glue your flap down. I've done that before. It's not very fun to try and fix. So... <laughs> And you prefer to use glue for this versus using a tape runner or double-sided tape? Or is I that just what you had handy? I reach liquid adhesive almost for all my crafting anymore because I am just not good at lining things up the first time. Mm. And it gives me, like right now, I'm wiggling it a little bit so it fits the card right. So the wet adhesives just give you the wiggle room. Um I always end up trying to pull up again after I've laid something down with tape runners. But hey, if you're good with a tape runner and have some better tricks than I do at aligning things, amen. You just want a strong adhesive. You don't want well, one I think that's going to... Some people... Go ahead. Sorry. You just don't want one that's going to um, lift up when somebody's lifting up the flap. True. I don't think everybody has like their go-to. Some people love double-sided tape. Some people love liquid adhesive. Some people love a good, strong tape runner. So I think that becomes kind of a personal preference of what you like best. Right. And I use um, tear tape a lot too on different projects, especially some interactive things. But um, whenever I have to be really careful at aligning something, I always reach for a wet adhesive. Cause Can you get that I wiggle, wiggle to kind of make yep. sure it's just right? Yep. Because yep. it's not you. this instant, it's down and you're done. <laughs> yeah. So and you got to make sure you get one that doesn't warp and bubble. Yep. Then what I did is I stamped ahead on this one. So this is the spot where somebody gets to write their message. So this is from the Modern Embossed die set. If we can get it on camera. There isn't it. There it is. The embossed edge. Yeah, you got it. So it die cuts it. And then it also gives this like super thin embossed edge. A lot of fun. It oh, makes cute. for a super clean and simple design. 
there is an additional, I mean, we have another set that's been super popular that has the, you know, the infamous stitched edging that everyone loves. So there's, mm -hmm. there's something for everyone. There's the clean edge and then there's the little more decorative edge with the stitches as well. And then just having that little extra border on your die cut piece versus just cutting it just adds a little something extra to it. It it's does. Just, that little hint of something makes all the difference, I think. So we have that, that this modern edge is what we call it. We have that in a slimline size and we actually have a nested A2 rectangle set now too um, that came Ooh. out with our last release that gives that same embossed edge on a, like on your regular A2 rectangles. So the four, it, the biggest one starts out at the four and a quarter by five and a half and they nest down in multiple sizes from that. I want to say there's like six or eight, maybe, maybe more. I don't remember. It's a large nested set. Ah. So that finishes pretty much the inside of the card. These, I didn't do any coloring either. So I'm just kind of letting the image and the sentiment speak for itself. It's somebody loves you. I don't know who I'm going to send Somebody it to. Always loves Somebody's going to be happy with me. <laughs> so then to decorate the front is also, I grabbed um, our nested heart dies. This is the smallest one. I think I have the dies right here. So we have a set of nested heart dies that I just cut a die cut out of. And then I added a piece of die cut grass from our, they're actually our slimline scenic border dies. Um, so I just cut a little piece out of some scrap paper and colored it for green for grass. So my bunny has something to sit on. So I just created a small little miniature scene. So he has something to ground him on the pattern paper. I love so that. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I love how she's using all these layers. So we're not just making a shaker card. We're not just making an yeah, interactive Yeah, because well, I look at card. it and I'm like, well, dang it, the front it. needs something. <laughs> I, I can't leave things alone. It's it's a bad thing. So then the bunny, I didn't color Aww. him much. I colored the leaves and I just added like some stickles to his ears and his cheeks. But for this Sticking. one, because you have such a big, bold background color, you don't need to make your bunny pop because it's no. going to pop being white. Which was handy. So then he just gets to just hang out there. Hang out there. And then the sentiment for the front came from our sending hugs die set and I have it pre-cut. I actually hug, I using washi tape to keep my alignment. So you guys don't watch me fight with that on screen either. Smart, also, smart, smart. Fun little things that are so tedious sometimes when you're live, you're like, oh yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah. Aligning <laughs> things and foam tape. Those are probably like my two like most awful things to deal with live. There's definitely a lot of free go stuff right. going on with live. Yeah, there's like, I'll try and die cut things ahead of time. I'll have things ready somewhat taped together and be like, this is what I did. You didn't see me struggle with it before. Right. Because, you know, or creak, crack, creak, crack as I'm trying to get stuff. Yeah, I know. I totally get that. So <laughs> I go live sending... today at five, so I totally right, understand. Yeah. <laughs> sending is a little more delicate. I didn't have to align it. It's all the way there. But I use the tape because I always lose the eye. So mm. I taped the dotted eye to the back of the so it's kept with it because <laughs> it would have disappeared somewhere into the ether of my house otherwise <sighs> yeah i would have probably been like screw it i'm just gonna put a little gem up there because i, that, I do that a lot because the eye disappears <laughs> and it can even be really, like not delicate little things <laughs> they yeah. always just disappear so i've started taping them it's like there's a little roll of washi tape sitting at my die cutting machine and I just I have like, like immediately right tape here. it. Right there. Right? I think I have like how many? I, I can count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I keep I keep collecting them. It's the colors that I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna grab I have so much washi tape and it's such it's so versatile too. Right. And I I mean, I hardly ever seem to reach for it on my cards anymore. Mm -hmm. But I use it to stick things together all the time. Oh, yeah. We're just lining up the die cut, holding it in place. I think I use it more as a tool than I do as a decorative element, for sure. I do, too. Because I'm like, I have purple tape, too. I'm like, but really, my washi does the same thing right now. And I have loads of it. Yeah, exactly. So I now that it. it's dry, I can peel this off. And we have a card. 
The only thing Yay! that I didn't do on this one that I did on the other one, which is optional anyways, is I added some more of those eggs to my first one to tie in with the middle. That so that was cute. what I meant is you can use them as shaker bits or, I mean, he's on an egg hunt. So mm -hmm. you can use them to help build your seams as well. That is so And that's fun. my little make and take. See, we did it. Even though we're virtual, we we're still it. doing a make and take. Right? Because <laughs> this is probably what you guys would have done if you were going to sit down at the booth anyway or something similar to it. This might have been a little more involved than in booth tour because usually we try to get people to come through if you're sitting down in five minutes or so. But yeah. some of the some of the make and takes I've done at Creativation have been super intensive. They're almost like mini classes. It's awesome. It yeah, I've depends. done some of those too. Yeah, they're really fun. Well, I absolutely love this. As always, all the links are down or the link to go to Trinity. I'm sorry. I think I, put, I tried to put up a link that was for an affiliate, but it's all good. Um, I think Trinity's got hers fixed. I tried to go back and fix them for my Facebook and YouTube, but if I didn't, I will fix it as soon as we're live done being live so make sure you head over to trinity stamps they have some really really cute stuff and all of these new releases are coming out on saturday, saturday. right yes <laughs> we're saying saturday saturday not saturday, saturday 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 <laughs> now i feel like i'm gonna go saturday, saturday. right and th there'll be a little like blog a hop not a blog hop an instagram hop <laughs> as well on saturday so watch our instagram for trinity stamps for instructions on that and you'll see a lot of projects go up on saturday morning Yay! Very, very cool. Uh, not updated on YouTube yet. I'll take care of the link as soon as I am done going live here. Very sorry about the link being broken. I will fix that shortly. Okay, so we have a winner. So we had the question, and I have it, had it listed down here before. What is the answer to the, sorry, what, I'm, I'm reading it down there. So, what is your favorite card size? And I have seen everything from A2 to square six by six squares. I saw slimline. I saw five by seven. I've seen a ton of different answers, which means I think everybody has their own thing. But if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we all like to dabble in other sizes as well. So it's fun, but there definitely is like a go-to size. Right now, my go-to size, I have to say I'm pretty split between the two, between a slimline and an A2. So there's why, mini slimline now for. too. Uh, yes, right. The, the mini slims. And Those we have mini What's slim line dies too, which I didn't have Ooh. a sample of. What's your favorite size that you like to create with? Right My now? favorite is probably somewhere between slimline and mini slimline. I like the extra real estate for some reason. Mini slimline slim line is just kind of fun and quirky, but slimline size for scene cards is just unable to be beat because there's so much space you get to play with. True. Now, do you like it to go horizontal, or do you like it vertical, or do you go both ways? I go both ways. There you go. That's cool. I, I, I like probably that. most gives you the option. reach for the horizontal, but it is a lot of fun to turn it this way because then you can build your scene going up. Yeah, yeah. I've done that on a couple cards. They're really fun. Okay, so without further ado, are we ready for our winner? Should we, should we announce our, our winner? Get a drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Our winner is Janice Walters. Congratulations. I randomly picked. I Yay, Janice. Through, stopped. <laughs> stuck it on there. Janice, you are the winner. Please email Shanna here at shannatrendystamps.com to claim your prize, and she will get it out to you. If you did not win for whatever reason, don't forget to leave a comment still about what is your favorite card size, and we will be able to pick a winner after the fact. I will announce it live on Friday on our after party that starts at 7 p.m., and I have an amazing guest list coming. These are all people that were attended Creativation and were part of the show, and we'll all give a little bit of a rundown of what we thought about it because it's all virtual. Normally, we would all be in a room together talking and hashing it all out, but we can't do that, so we're going to do it as a big group chat. We're going to look at the break bunch on the screen is going to be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be live on 7 p.m. on my Facebook and my YouTube channel at the same time. And you can come and chat with us. And we've got a ton of amazing people. I'm also live today at 5 p.m. I'm going to be hanging out with and showing you guys how to use an interactive die from TLC Design. So make sure you come back at 5 p.m. Central for that. So thank you so much, Shanna, for joining. And all everybody who's commented, you guys have done an amazing, like, I love your interactive, all the amazing comments. I, I can't, there's so many people. Some people are just showing up as Facebook user. Totally cool. Hey, all Facebook users. For some reason, it didn't come through as your name because you didn't, you had to click and say it's okay. But we have How to Sell. We got Crystal. We got Tammy. We got Nettie. We got Addie. We got Lakita, Laura. 
Chris, so many amazing people. Thank you guys all for jumping in and saying hi. Thank you. To give a thumbs up, a heart, like, and subscribe to my channel, Erin Reed Makes, and also to my Facebook, YouTube, but also head over to Trinity Stamps. We are live on their Facebook. Hit like, hit subscribe, go check their stuff out. And Shanna, you've got a YouTube as well, correct? I do. It's small. YouTube is um, entertaining for me. I My crafty handle <laughs> stuff is caffeinated craftiness. So on YouTube and on Instagram, I'm caffeinated craftiness. Go check her out. Cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys again. Um, we'll be back again with another live booth tour tomorrow. And tomorrow we go live at 10 a.m. Central. And we'll have a ton more fun. Some more booth tours from Creativation at 2021. All right. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Erin. Have an amazing day. You got to wave goodbye with your hands. Can you wave goodbye with your hands? There we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye, everybody.